Oil prices are surging for a second day following Russia's decision to cut gas supplies to Europe. The international crude benchmark Brent is up 1.5% and it's trading at around $106 a barrel. Global crude supplies are already tight and many expect the commodity to be even harder to get. That's because if Europe runs short on gas, companies in the bloc could start to choose using crude products like diesel to keep their machines running. The European Union has already banned some oil imports from Russia, which is the world's second largest exporter of the commodity. That means they'll have to look to other major suppliers like Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. But they say they're already pumping at capacity. Now, for more, let's go to Naeem Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Avatrade in London. Welcome back to the program, Naeem. Now, we know Europe's energy security, a big issue now. So what are the continent's options? Sure. Thanks for having me, Pablo. I think one of them you've already mentioned, you know, burning alternative fuels. And remember, these are self-inflicting injuries that we are just really facing over here in Europe. But the reality is that... Russia is determined for a tit-for-tat reaction. Sanctions were imposed on Russia, and Russia is really going to take every single opportunity to pay back. And now, even we are in summer, and not even close to winter, but I think the situation is going to become a lot more dire and worse as we walk towards winter. But for now, the options are very limited. But as you correctly pointed out, the capacity, the spare capacity for OPEC or for uh, Saudis is already at a margin level, right? So, so they're they pumping up at the maximum level that they can. So the options are very much limited and rationing of oil usage is going to be the most likely scenario that we will see. In, when, when we're speaking of rationing of oil, uh, sort of, sorry, gas usage, we already know that Greece has refused to do that as per the statement uh, by the country yesterday. If we do end up with rationing, what kind of effect will that have on the European economy as a whole? I think the, clearly the European economies are already heading towards a recession. So that recession is going to be pretty much more deeper recession. Energy prices are going to be even soaring further. So that means the task on hand with respect to the ECB to control inflation is going to become a lot more difficult. All right. Naeem Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Avertrade in London. Thank you for joining the show. Thank you for having me.